Hello, I'm the Ghost Maker. Welcome to Air Rifle Hunter Review. Sorry I had to do that. One of my friends uh, saw me taking a mickey out of Phil Sports Britain the other day. Welcome to Air Rifle Hunter Review. So, I, I said I would do it in one of my videos. <coughs> Don't know why, really. It's nothing to do with the review. There you go. Anyway, I'm going to be reviewing for you my uh, BSA Scorpion with the Jim B stock on it. Um, uh, it's a standard BSA Scorpion. Um, action, uh, single shot. I wanted something to go and have some fun planting with uh, uh, HFT, something a little bit special. I, uh, my Scorpion T10 is probably one of my favourite ever guns. Um, I love it and I really fancied another Scorpion action. It's, it's been bulletproof. Forgive uh, the pun. And uh, for that reason, that was the action that I chose to go with and uh, I was lucky enough that um, Jim B, uh, G-I-N-B that is, dot I-T, um, Jim B Custom Socks Limited did a stock for it. Um, I had a look on their website and lo and behold they, they have an action, uh, they have an inlet um, for this gun. So this is stock number nine in the uh, HFT um, stock choice a part of the catalogue I'll probably roll in um, a, a picture from their website now uh, and there'll be a link uh, somewhere in the video probably down the bottom there Um, with the details for their, their website and so on. Um, yeah, it's, it's a fantastic gun. It really is. I, I love the Scorpion. Um, this is a side wheel focus BSA scope, by the way. It's a 8 to 24, I think. Let's turn that around. Right, okay. I'm a lawyer. It's an 8 to 32 um, BSA side wheel focus. Uh, parallax adjustable, fast focus side bill, all the usual bit, it's a uh, 8 to 32 by 44 and uh, yeah, nice scope. It suits this gun really well, it's quite fussy with your eye um, position which minimises parallax error and so on. Um, got good crisp edges to the, the sight in, so I may do a review on this scope separately, so I'm not going to carry on with that too much. But um, the gun, I've got a BSA VC silencer on there with a 177. Um, uh, what do they call it? It's got the 177 collar inside to reduce the muzzle noise. Um, when you get this, you can either have it set for 24, 0 0.25, 0 0.22, or 0.177. Um, they say it matches the pellet and they say that this reduces the noise um, whether it does or doesn't I can't confirm because I've never tested it to that extent but it's accurate and it's quiet and that does for me it's made out of a wood called Sono Kembang I'm probably pronouncing that wrong um, but it is made out of a wood called Sono Kembang um, I, I did have some extra bits put on here this is the full adjustment it's got the the hamster rail down the bottom there it's got the hamster rail fully adjustable for height and front and for, uh, forward and rear positioning uh, it's got the adjustable cheek piece height adjustable cheek piece it's also got a really really pretty um, butt hook on it which is adjustable for height um, and cant um, 
you can move it left or right to suit your, uh, you know, the the way you, you, you want it. It it fits to me like a glove. The the hand pace, um, the hand the hand grip. It's almost like it was custom made for my hand. The guy that shaped this, or the guy that this was designed on, must have almost the same size hands as me. It fits my hands really, really well. Um, and I thought maybe it would be uncomfortable for someone that's got smaller hands than me, but I've got friends that have shot it, um, that have got, because I've got quite big hands, that have got smaller hands than me, and they also said that they found it very, very comfortable. Um, the finish on this, I've got a satin wood finish. Um, I didn't really want a high gloss finish. You can have it satin or you can have it plain so that you could just go with an oil finish. Um, they can do that for you or you can do the oil finish yourself. But I chose to have the satin finish on this one. And uh, I'm really, really pleased with it. This is my pride and joy. Um, I really, really do look after this. I was thinking of getting a regulator done. Um, my friend, uh, gunsmith, Dave Wellen, is very, very busy. And uh, I, I don't really want to be going and giving him any more work than he's already got to do. So that's something I may consider um, at a later date. Uh, a regulator on this would be the finishing touch. The barrel's very good on this rifle. I already can achieve really good accuracy with this when I'm shooting well. And uh, a regulator would be the icing on the cake, really. Uh, it would give me a better shot capacity. The shot capacity on this at the moment is around 60 shots. Um, but with a well and regulator in there from Air Masters 88, I'm probably going to be looking at around the sort of 100, 120 shot mark. Um, anyway, there you go. That's the BSA Scorpion Jim Beast Custom Stock Rifle. Um, the, these stocks are available. They do a large selection on their website. Like I said, there will be a link in this video somewhere um, if you want to go and have a look at their website. Um, the service is good. They are made to order. Um, so you you know it's not something that you're going to find uh, on a shelf unless there's one second hand. I, as far as I know, nobody actually stocks these on the shelf. I could be wrong. I have a feeling maybe Blackpool Air Rifles do. Um, but whether they'd have the one, that, because th there's so many options that you can have. I don't know whether you can see this one. Um, I've actually got a, a silver, solid silver plaque. In the side there with I know it's a bit self-indulgement but it, it, it says uh, the ghost maker on the side of the gun couldn't resist that um, the butt plate on mine is all engraved and there's loads of options that you can have depending on what rifle you've got and so on um, but it really is if you're looking for a custom stock you've got a gun action that you really like or you've got a gun you want to build they make them for so many different actions, um, right across the biobot range, day state, theban and so on. So, you know, if you're looking for a custom stock, they may well, well, well be worth, uh, you know, a look. They may have something that you like the shape of. Um, they've got a lot of different designs and so on. This was just the one that I went for. So anyway, I'm the ghost maker. This is me signing off. Another review for Air Rifle Hunter review. Um, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Give us a thumbs down if you didn't like the video. Give me any suggestions. If you've got any videos or reviews that you would like to do, we would love to add it to this channel. Uh, this is a resource for the air gun shooter, by the air gun shooter. And it doesn't have to be an air rifle. It can be anything related to our sport. So that's my signing off. Bye for now.